Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Pokemon Moon. This is episode 50, which is special because 50 episodes is a lot of episodes, so we've reached a landmark in the, the series in general, and also, I think, uh, we've reached a landmark in the game. I believe, if my corrections, if my corrections, if my predictions are correct, uh, this is the altar that we've been trying to, to make our way through uh, by heading through the, the Vars Pony Canyon. So uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go and click on this thing and see what it is. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's not an altar. It's a pedestal, which is very different to an altar. <laughs> uh, there's a Z crystal on it. Should I just take it? Like, I'm not stealing, am I? Like, is this just someone else's Z crystal? No. Okay, I believe... We have discovered the, the totem Pokemon. We're kind of in a trial right now. And it's weird. It's kind of like a... It's a trial without a kahuna. It's basically just us going through the canyon and battling uh, a bunch of Pokemon. So uh, I guess if I defeat this totem Pokemon, the totem... Como mo 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 o o, uh, then that way I can just go and get whatever Zid, uh, Zed crystal uh, is uh, sitting on the the stand over there. So, uh, right then, let's uh, not hesitate and uh, let's go straight into the the battle. How about this though? Literally just started the episode and we are immediately uh, into a uh, a Pokemon battle against a totem Pokemon. No wasting time today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right then, I think flying moves were doing pretty well against these uh, these Pokemon. I kind of battled the um the the pre evolutions of this the the prequels and uh, yeah fly moves seem to to be really effective against them then again i mean i guess that that move it said it was super effective but it didn't really seem to to do very much against it, uh, against it. i think it has really good uh, defense by the the looks of things so uh, using my my z move won't do that well no it doesn't say it's super effective on it maybe Maybe it's not super effective. I'm sure it said super effective against it. Let me let me do it again. Oh, I know what it is. It's because I haven't battled it before. It doesn't come up saying like the the stats and uh, like what's effective against what. So I think that's what it was. So uh, everyone's they're all just like increasing their their stats right now. Like neither of them attack me. They just kind of <laughs> stood there putting their speed and strength and stuff up. So uh, yeah, I think using Bowie. And they're using this mover as many times as I can. And then once Bowie gets taken out, assuming that's going to happen. And I, I think that's going to, to happen, judging uh, by the way things are going so far. And then I'm going to switch over to, to Squirmy. Because uh, Squirmy has a, a move called uh, Whirlwind, uh, which is a uh, another um, uh, fly move, uh, which seems to, to do a, a whole load of damage. So that's, uh, uh, yeah, that's who I'll switch over to afterwards if I need it. Then again... I might not need it. If I just keep um, keep Bowie up with uh, with potions, I don't have too many. But uh, yeah, I, I shouldn't I shouldn't count Bowie out this soon. Like <laughs> it's become so normal recently for all of my Pokemon's to to keep on fainting throughout the the entire battle. I've just lost all faith in them. I think <laughs> at this point, and uh, they do keep kind of charging themselves up and powering themselves up and increasing their their attack as well, which uh, is only going to to end badly for for me in the end. It would be good if I can keep Bowie alive though, because uh, Bowie's all almost at level 55, which would be just nice to, to have to, to be honest. So if they fainted, then they wouldn't get any of the, the experience. So let's see if I can at least take out the, the com, uh, Como O. I think that's what it's called, Como O. Como O, I, I believe, just reading the, the name, I believe that's the, the thing I'm after. And they keep putting all of their stats up. They keep making themselves stronger and stronger and stronger. And oh, Bowie is just about alive. And there we go, got to do another plug. Is this gonna be enough to take out Como O? Yes, I think it was. There we go. So that's uh, that's Como O defeated. Do you think I should just switch over to to Squirmy now? I think that might be a smarter way to to do things. And oh, Bowie wants to learn Brave Bird. This sounds like this is going to be a flying move. Let's uh, let's see what Brave Bird is. Yeah, it is a flying move. 120 power. Get out of town. The user tucks in his wings and charges from a low altitude. It also damages the user quite a lot. I knew there would be a catch. I knew there would be a catch. That does sound good, though. I got to learn it. I got to learn it. All right, what do we get rid of, though? Um, you know what? I'm tempted to... Let's get rid of Pluck. I was going to say I get rid of the, the, the Razor Leaf, but I'm going to get rid of Pluck because if I have that Brave Bird move, I'm probably never going to, to use Cluck. All right, then. Let's let's not switch to, to Squirmy, then. Let's heal up Bowie again, and let's try out this new move. Like, it is going to, to hurt Bowie as well, but I'm assuming it's not going to hurt Bowie anywhere near uh, as it is the other Pokemon. And 120 damage, that's a lot. 
That is a lot of damage to, to do against uh, another Pokemon. For example, if I look at um, how much health Bowie has in total. So Bowie only has 165 in total. So you can imagine how much damage this does. And it's going to be super effective against the uh, Hakamo-O. Uh, so let's um, let's do this move. It might take it out in, uh, in one hit. The big test about whether this move's going to be really worth using is uh, how much damage it does against uh, against myself. And whoa! It certainly looks awesome. Oh, Bowie's got some really cool moves. Look at that! Completely destroyed it. I don't know if I'm even going to, to get to see how much damage. Did a considerable amount of damage against me, actually. That was, that was to be honest, more than I, I expected. But as I said, totally worth it, considering how much damage uh, you're, you're able to, to deal out uh, at the, the same time. All uh, right, then. Uh, Komo o hid itself somewhere in the deepest reaches of the valley. Yeah, you better run and tell your friends, too. And now I have received myself a, a brand new a brand new Zed Crystal. Who's going to, to teach me the, the dance move that I need to, to do to use it? Normally someone teaches me what the, the dance move is. I, I guess I can just use improvised dance for, for this one. Is it going to tell me what it is? Uh, dragon type Z crystal. Dragonium is yours. I think I can use this with uh, with Squirmy, can't I? Should be able to anyway. I can't see a reason why not. So uh, let's go and give... Oh no! Incompatible! Squirmy can learn draw. What a rubbish dragon Squirmy is. <laughs> Actually, kind of one of my one of my more powerful Pokemon. Probably not one of the most powerful Pokemon, but certainly some of the the, the most powerful moves out of all of the, the different Pokemon I have. Anyway, that's the um that's the troll complete. That's that done. Is that the, the valley complete though? It looks like it is. We've arrived at the outer of the moon. With moon spelt with an E. <laughs> because uh because why not? And uh, here is a uh, Hapu and Lily come to, to join us. Stampy! Our history tells us that the first Pony Canyon trial was the very first trial to ever be held. You did a fine job clearing it up, just as I expected, Stampy. You've cleared all seven of the trials of Alola's Island Challenges now. That's... that's wonderful. You've pushed yourself beyond your limits and really become a great trainer, haven't you? And he could never have done that without you. D uh, oh, <laughs> decide you I? Oh, I know who decide you I is. That's Bowie, isn't it? I kept getting confused. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that I named my Pokemon. Anyway, let me heal you up real quick. Should have never used that healing potion. <laughs> right, so that's all of my Pokemon healed up. Look at the two of you. I think you might just work out after all. You Nope, you know what? I'm quite sure of it. <laughs> the sun flute and the moon flute. If we sound both together... Um, let's go, Stampy. Right, let's go and uh, play a little tune. Was there like a... Was there a cave? I'm pretty sure I saw a cave in the background. We we can explore later. We have a legendary Pokemon to, to summon. Oh god, can I can I ride Taurus up here? I don't. No 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 not Charizard. God, the worst thing to do now would be to accidentally fly away and have to go through the entire canyon again. Oh, could you imagine that? Um, I, I was trying to switch to Taurus so I could go up the the stairs quicker, but I spent so long switching to him. I'm sure I've been up the uh, the the top of the stairs. <laughs> Look how lazy I am. I always use the 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 lift or the the escalator instead of the the stairs. Or in Pokemon, I use a Taurus. <laughs> would be handy to to summon a giant ox Pokemon whenever you want, or a Bison, whatever it is, just to be able to to use. Right, we're at the uh, the altar. Looks like no one's been here in a while. I can feel the strong power of the moon. Nebby, I'm going to make my mother wake up and see the reason before I send you back to your old world. I'm going to make her hear me. I'm going to tell her how I feel. Even if I'm not a trainer, I can still do that much. The sun flute. It feels like it was made to fit my hand. I think, I think I can play it. Okay, so it looks like she stands on that side, in that little soggy square. Uh, then I go to the, the other side and I play mine. Stampy, you should stand over there. Right, so yes, she's going to play the sun flute. I fl uh, play the, the moon flute. Uh, and then hopefully combined, it's going to, uh, I guess, summon or call or, I don't know. Ring the cell phone of the, uh, <laughs> the, the magical legendary Pokemon. Will you blow the moon flute? Well, it'd be silly not to. We, may, we made our way up here. We might as well finish the job. <laughs> right then, let's uh, let's play some uh, some beautiful music and let's let's see if 
anything happens. Hopefully it does. Be a wasted journey otherwise. It wasn't easy getting that moon flu either. So I reckon that if I was playing Pokemon Sun, I would be playing the, the Sun Flute right now, do you reckon? Oh. Okay, we didn't play for very long. Something's happening. All of the, the water around us is glowing. Oh, look, it's lighting up the, the entire altar. And is there a legendary Pokemon? So is that one of the, the ultra wormholes again then, maybe? Lucky I'm wearing my sunglasses. It seems quite fitting they're wearing the, the sunglasses as they're being blinded. And oh, Nebbies are wriggling. Nebbies are shaking. Nebbies are flying. Nebbies are stealing her backpack. <laughs> and just drops it down. All right, is this going to be enough to, to heal Nebby? Or at least turn Nebby into into something else? Was it Cosmog is the, the real name of Nebby, isn't it? Do you think Nebby is the Pokemon? Oh, of course it is. This whole time it was, and that's the that's the one from the case. That's the one from the the, the Pokemon box. I thought it would be that. Why didn't I make the connection that it was actually going to to be Nebby? It's like the exact same colors. <laughs> that is that is awesome. Not as cute as it used to be. I can't imagine that giant thing going pew pew. Just like uh, Nebby used to. Well, like I used to pretend Nebby used to. Nebby, th thank goodness you're all right. Please don't ever do that again. You made me worry so much. And I never imagined that sounding the flutes would give you so much power. Or let you evolve into a legendary Pokemon. <laughs> Not in any of my reading. Never did I come across any hint that you would evolve into the legendary Pokemon. Please, Lunala. No, Nebby, please. I need to see my mother. Mana Paia. So do you think Nebby's going to create another ultra wormhole for us so we can go and see uh, Lily's mother? Oh, it's still got a big smiley face. <laughs> Definitely nowhere near as cool. Like, like the, cu the 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 cooler something gets, like the more it sacrifices the cuteness. Like if you had a scale, like the more you move something to cute, it becomes less cool. And then the, the further you move it to cool, it becomes less cute. It's kind of just one of the, the sacrifices of having something that looks really cool. Like it generally doesn't look cute at the same time. Is there anything that's a good mixture? I think Squirtle might be a good mix. Because Squirtle's cool. He hangs out in a gang and wears sunglasses. But he's also pretty cute, isn't he? He's pretty darn cute at the, the same time. <laughs> like, I think Pikachu leans more to, to cute than cool. Charmander might be slightly over the, um, the, the cool side. But probably not as cute as Pikachu or Squirtle. I don't know. Maybe you could argue otherwise. Anyway, back to the, the story, shall we? How surprising. It's more beautiful than I would have expected. But the air is so thick here. It, it almost hurts to breathe. I'm not sure. Nebby evolved and I'm in a different world. And there's just so much that has happened. We should go. Mana! Ah ah! Pee! Ah ah ah! What is it? <laughs> I think I'm making it sound more derpy than it's supposed to sound. Are you telling us that you have to stay there? Mana! Pia! Um, I'm so grateful for you bringing me here, Nebby. Thank you. I guess I have to go the rest of my way myself. Mana! Pia! I think this is the way to to justify Nebby not coming up with us because all of the, the Pokemon we might have to, to battle might be a little bit too easy if we had a, a legendary Pokemon on our side. And is that, is that Guzma just chilling out on a rock? I'm the Team Skull Boss and I've never been scared on nothing or nobody. Heck, I live my life making people scared of me. So listen what big guy Guzma has to say. Y'all stupid! How in the world did you even get to this place? I've got no idea how you did it, but you are here! 
It's all dark here. I've got no clue what's going on, but there's beasts everywhere. I tried to catch one of those, those things. Well, they're like those jellyfish things, aren't they? I remember those things. Can you not capture them then? It'd be cool to capture one of them. Remember, I still do have my... I do have my Master Ball on me. I do kind of have a, a, a free pass to capture at least one Pokemon at some point. But it possessed me. And that's when it happened. My body, my mind, they started running wild and I couldn't do anything about it. It was like I became somebody else and I finally felt what fear feels like and it was terrifying. I may be a Team Skull boss, but I've never been scared of nothing or nobody but that, that lady. She's on another level, man. She's gone way too far. She's lost her mind over these Ultra Beasts. There's no talking to her. No reasoning with her. She's just, just gone. That doesn't change anything. I still have to go. Bye. <laughs> I really thought I was going to, to have to, to battle Guzma, but looks like uh, looks like he's letting us pass this time. She lost her mind over those Ultra Beasts. There's not. Yeah, yeah. You said. You said. You said. <laughs> well. Where is she? That's what the, the big question is. We've made it this far, but it seems to, to be a bit of a, of a dead end here. Looks like we might have to, to deal with some, some jellyfish before we go and move on. Oh, what are they doing? Okay, they're not attacking us. They've kind of... They all went together. Now they've all wandered off in different directions and ah! Hello! Look who... Look at it! The world of my Ultra Beasts. A world where the only thing that exists is the love between Nihiego and myself. So beautiful. So delicious. This is the real paradise. And yet you, why must you continue to pester me? I am sick of you, sick through and through. What told you that you could come here to the perfect, beautiful world of my beasts and me? Think about what you're saying. What about Mr. Guzma? Why don't you care what happens to him? Just leave. I don't need you here. I don't need you any longer. <laughs> Look around you. Look at these beautiful worlds. I've finally come to it. It's perfect. You want me to go back to that world. That's why you've come to bother me. Even you cannot be that stupid. You always do that. It's just like when we were back at the Aether Paradise, only thinking of yourself and what you want. <laughs> what? And why shouldn't I? <laughs> I can live here in a world filled with only the things that I love. And I will live here. I don't care if you're my child or not. I don't care if you're loyal to me or not. I don't care if you're the rarest Pokemon there is in the world or not. If you're not beautiful enough to be worthy of my love, then I don't need you. That's right. All I need to exist in my world are the things that I want to have with me. Everything else is just a bother to me. I am the one who's sick of you, mother. Children, children are not things that belong to their parents. Pokemon are not things that a trainer can do whatever they want to. I am alive. Cosmog is alive. We are not things for you to collect. We are not made for you to just discard when you get bored of us. That is terrible, Mother. You are terrible. <laughs> terrible? Me? 
how am I different from any Pokemon trainer like your little friend there? What do you do with a Pokemon you can't use? You remove it from your party as you please. Enough with this useless talk, Lily. I will never forgive you for stealing Cosmog from me. Never! Back when you were small, you would listen to everything I said without question. For a time, even you were adorable to me. But you changed. You've become ugly. Ever since you met that boy, Stampy, and learned to defy your own mother. Stampy, you hateful little trainer. How dare you intrude upon this world that was meant for Nihilio and me. It's not, it is not to be born. And with Nihilio's power, I will show you how wrong you were to come here. Oh, that was an awfully dramatic exchange between the pair of them. <laughs> to be fair, she's got a point. Like, when I get a Pokemon that I like more than a Pokemon I have, I ditch it. I send it to the, the box and I get it out of my party. And, I mean, it is different compared to your own daughter, to, to be fair. But, I mean, she's crazy, obviously. But she's crazy with a point, <laughs> to be fair. And what is this thing? Has she merged with it? I think she's merged with that Pokemon that I can't pronounce and keep saying wrong. Whoa! Okay. She's turned into a jellyfish. I'm sorry to say this, Lily. Your mother has now turned into a jellyfish. <laughs> and are we battling her? You challenged A for Paradise. Loser mean, did I? Did I challenge her? Oh, wait. Okay. I don't think we're actually battling her. As you can see, it says she's got um, a bunch of Pokemon. So it looks like we're battling her Pokemon instead. But still, rather a ridiculous set of circumstances. That was cool, though. That was a cool cutscene. I, I like her little point about ditching Pokemon. Yeah, something to, to think about for all of you budding Pokemon trainers out there. But anyway, as you can see, this video is just uh, about to, to end now. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Of course, you know what's coming up in the, the next video. And don't worry, I will upload it very soon so we can jump off. Uh, yeah, just where we uh, ended this episode from. But for now... I want to thank you all very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!